everyone, and welcome back to another video in the Learning Katakana series. Uh, so we'll be uh, continuing where we left off from last week, so today we'll be learning the next 25 characters in the Katakana alphabet. So first let's do some review of the Katakana that we learned last week. So we learned A, I, U, E, O, Ka, Ki, K Ko Sa Shi Su Se So Ta Chi Su Te to na ni nu ne no ha ki fu he ho ma ni mu me Mo, ya, nu, yo, na, ni, bu, ve, lo, wa, o, um, um. So similar to uh, the fourth video in the Hiragana series, we'll be adding um, little extra markings to already previously existing characters to change the sound. So if you remember in uh, Hiragana, we added quote signs to change ka to ga, uh, sa to za, uh, ta to da, ba or ha to ba, or ha to pa. So it was always the quote sign, and then uh, would change the sound. So it's the same idea. For example, when we did hiragana, we had ka, ki, ku, ke, ko. And when we added the quotes to it, it became ga, gi, gu, ge, go. And we did sa, shi, su, se, so. It became za, ji, zu. Ze, zo. And when we did ta, chi, su, te, to, it became da, ji, zu, de, do. And then we had ha, hi, fu, he, ho, which then became ba, bi, Bu, be, bo, or ha, he, fu, he, ho, which became pa, pi, pu, pe, po. So we're going to be doing the same kind of idea, but with the katakana characters. So let's review what the ka characters were again in katakana. So we had ka, ki, ku, K and ko. So ka was like so. Ki, ku, ke, and ko. So now we're going to change that and make them ga, gi, gu, ge, go. And the way that we do that is the same as how we did it in hiragana. We're going to add quote marks to the side. Ga, gi, gu, ge, go, like so. So now we've changed it from ka to ga. So the next one is going to be our S characters. So we had sa, shi, su, se, and so. Sa. 
he su se and so so we're going to change it to za g zu ze zo same idea quote sign za g zu ze zo Then we're gonna do the T character, so we had ta, chi, su, te, to. Ta, remember, it was very similar to ku. Chi, su, te, and to. And it's gonna become da, ji, zu. De and do. Same idea, we're going to add quotes to those to change them. As you may remember, the next characters we have the H characters. So, depending on whether we add an eight, uh, a quotation sign or a degree sign, we'll change its sound. So, let's start with the changing it with the quotes. So we have ha, he, fu, he, ho. So ha, he, fu, he, ho. We're going to change it to ba, bi, bu, be, and bo. So we again have those quote signs there. And that's how you change it from an H character to a B character. And the last characters that we're going to learn for today are changing those H characters to P characters. So we had again, ha, he, fu, he, ho, ha, he, fu, he, Ho. We're going to change it to pa, he, pu, pe, and po by adding a degree sign to the right. And there you go. So similar to hiragana, we're again just adding basically quotation signs or degree signs to change it, the, uh, the consonant uh, sound. So let's review all the characters that we learned today that include the quote signs and the uh, degree signs. So we had ga, gi, gu, ge, go, za, ji, zu, ze, Zo, da, ji, uh, zu, de, do. So those are the next 25 characters uh, in the katakana alphabet. Uh, so the next couple of days we'll do the same thing that we did with the hiragana, which is where we're combining two characters to make a different sound. So again, these are using characters that we've already learned uh, from the previous videos. And uh, we will continue from there. So that'll be for Wednesday and Thursday. And then the next few videos will be ones where I do uh, teaching of different Japanese words. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed that video, and I will see you soon. Bye.